We're in Gallery 2 of Theater of Encounters, the main axis of the exhibition, what I title A Found Proposition. In this gallery, a letter greets us. A letter that it's a proposition that Calder submitted to his curator at MoMA, James Johnson Sweeney, in 1943, when he was organizing Calder's first retrospective at Museum of Modern Art in New York. This letter mentions that he had forgotten to show him a piece, a piece that it's composed of found objects, what he calls impedimenta, and a hanging rod. The radical part about this artwork is that we, you, the viewer, me, the curator, decide how we are going to install this artwork as also we activate the piece. This artwork was not shown in his retrospective. It was done in 1932, and it was Calder's first mobile. In this artwork, I invite you to just listen to the sound. Imagine that ball, that small ball, dancing between elements, just here the sounds and the silences. There is action, no action, art, no art. And at this moment, Calder points us as to where the art resides. That object is about how light reflects off of the silver disc and makes a projection on the wall, a silver projection, and the light reflects off of the brass shape. And you can see when it turns, you'll see that you see there's a gold yep. cloud on the wall over there. And there's another one that appears on the other side of the wall. So you've got a silver cloud and you've got a gold cloud that are interacting with the darkness, the absence of light, which is the shadow, coming through and crisscrossing. And as it crosses the space and turns on the wall, like all shadows do in motion, right? It um, creates a definition of the space that you occupy, that your body is occupying. So um, let me tell you what this is about. Calder sees this as a painting, as a two-dimensional painting in a frame that he's expanded off the wall. So he's created these forms which are able to move. They can also remain static. They don't, they're not supposed to move all the time. Sometimes they're static, sometimes they move. Sometimes they just reposition and stop, and that's it. Um, but it came out of this idea where Calder went to visit the artist Pete Mondrian, went to his studio, and he had a shocking experience. Calder saw this environment as a work of art, and he began to think about uh, abstract forms in space, in motion. This is before he made mobiles. So he worked on this idea for a while, and eventually, this is 1936, Eventually, he got to um, this idea. He made a series of these works in 1936 of paintings in motion. And if you stand in front of it and close one eye, and it creates a very flat sensation, so you're not seeing it as a three-dimensional object, but as a two-dimensional picture plane. 
that's presented off the wall. Then you understand more about how the form and the color is changing, is mutable in your experience of it.